Now, in this question, a very important consideration is to notice that the final height of the bullet is equal to the launch height of the bullet. And we know that because it says that the center of the target is level with the rifle. So here is the center of the target and here is the rifle over here. They are level with one another. So that means again that the final height of the bullet's position will equal the launch height of the bullet. And so when that is true, we can greatly simplify the calculation by using the range equation, this equation here. Now the range is simply the horizontal distance traveled by the bullet. So from the initial position to the final position, that right there would be the range, and that was given to us as 45.7 meters. In addition, we know g, that's just negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We also know the initial launch velocity was 460 meters per second. And so we can use the range equation to solve for the angle theta, in other words, the launch angle. So that's gonna be this angle marked right here. Once we have that angle, we'll be able to answer the question. So let's take the range equation and rearrange it a little bit. So again, we're trying to solve for theta, so we might multiply both sides of the range equation by g. That'll cancel the g on the right-hand side. Next, we'll divide both sides by the initial launch speed squared, so the v naught squared, canceling that out on the right side. And we've isolated the sine of twice the angle, and that's pretty good for now. So in fact, let's plug in the known data. We know g was 9.8 in magnitude, so 9.8 meters per second squared, times the range, which was 45.7 meters, and then divided by that launch speed squared. So that's going to be 460 squared. This will equal the sine of twice the angle. If you simplify the left side on your calculator, you should get 0 0.0021165 approximately. And then you want to solve this for the theta ultimately, but we got to get rid of that sine first. So to do that, you're going to take the inverse sine of both sides of this equation. The inverse sine and the sine on the right side will cancel. This gives you twice the launch angle. On the left side, you just punch that into a calculator and you're gonna get a very tiny angle. It's 0 0.121126 degrees. And then finally divide both sides of that by two and you will get 0 0.0606 degrees approximately is the launch angle. Now, why is this going to help us? Well, let's take a look at the following picture. We had to aim our rifle above the target in order for the bullet to go up and come back down and hit the target. So the question wanted to know at what height above the target were we aiming? So this would be the relevant picture here. And we can see from this right triangle that the tangent of that launch angle would equal the opposite, which is H, over the adjacent, which was that range. Recall that the range was that 45.7 meters. So we can start to plug in here. Actually, why don't we just solve for height? We could multiply both sides of this by R, and that'll isolate the height because these R's will cancel. So you can see that the height is simply the range times the tangent of that launch angle. We can go ahead and fill in the known data. And when you simplify the left side, you will get about 0 0.0484 meters for that height. If the homework system wants centimeters, you can just multiply the meters by 100. So basically move the decimal point twice to the right, and you would get an equivalent answer of 4.84 centimeters. That will be the height above the target that we must aim the rifle in order to hit the target. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it, but please do not feel obligated to do so. I appreciate you taking the time to watch regardless.